What is going on, amazing, beautiful people? Your boy, Jeffrey Gamer, back at you with another quick tutorial. Probably the quickest one I ever did. Rage Native UI was updated, ladies and gentlemen. And if you use mods, uh, any mods from Bajojo, Ultimate Backup, Stop the Pad, Speed Radar Light, um, and other mods that require Rage Native UI, uh, your game might not work well. It might act funky. Well, if it does, go ahead and drop in this new Rage Native UI. It won't do anything but help your game. Uh, by dropping this in there. So click the link down below that says Rage Native UI. It's gonna bring to this page right here. Simply gonna go right here to Rage Native UI zip. You want the zip right there. And it's probably gonna bring up a, a, a yeah, just like that. Um, it may be dangerous, it says. Go ahead and just keep it, okay? And it's gonna bring this up right here. We're gonna get rid of the purchase me box. We're gonna exit out of the web browser. And for Steam users, go ahead and bring up your main directory. All right, you're gonna wanna go to your disk drive that you have your game installed through. Okay, so it might be C, program files times 86, Steam, Steam apps, and common. Right here, you're gonna see your Grand Theft Auto folder or folders. Okay, I'm gonna go to mine, double click your Grand Theft Auto folder, and then wait right there. I'm gonna go to mine, Steam library, Steam apps, common, and here's my Grand Theft Auto folder right there. Okay, so this is your main directory front page. Um, it's got your ELS folders, your update, time 64, plugins, mods, all that, okay? So here's what we're gonna do. In your WinRAR, you're simply gonna highlight both of these right here, okay? And you know what, let me bring, let me read the, okay, no, no, so we're not gonna worry about that. So you're gonna highlight both of these right here, Rage Native UI, Rage Native UI.xml, and you're simply gonna left click, drag them, and drop them right in this buffer zone. Do not do this, do not drop them in any of these highlighted folders. You wanna go right over here. If your file explorer is all tight and you don't have a buffer zone, just stretch it out, just like that. All right, grab these two Rage Native UI files. As a matter of fact, you only need one. You don't really need the XML. So what you can do is you could just bring this Rage Native UI.dll, left click that and drop it in. Okay, once you do that, if we compare in both files, you'll see that this one is 12-19-2021. This is 8-1. 2021 so this one's definitely updated okay so we want to we want to select that one and click continue all right and we're done now you don't have to go through all that you can just drop it right there and just click replace um, again we don't need this rage native ui.xml um, just go with the rage native ui.dll and that's it you're all done uh, if you have other grand theft auto folders like i do i'm going to go into my common and you can see I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've got nine more. So I'm gonna drop it in all of them. I'm just gonna double click all of them, grab that DLL and drop it in. Um, actually, I did not have to drop it into this one because this is, uh, that's a clean copy. I did not wanna drop it in there. So um, we're gonna go ahead and delete that out of there. There we go. That's my clean copy. I'll go into here and I'll drop it in there um, just like that and compare and we're good to go. Uh, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you have a great, great night. Love you all so much. Till next time, be safe, be healthy, be positive. Follow the rules and obey the law. Your boy, Jeffrey Gamer, is out. Later, y'all.